Here we'll be taking a look at the multiplication and division of fractions. So here's the scenario for you to consider. If you had won half a million euro in the lotto and decided to split it evenly with your sibling, how much would each of you get? So you're splitting half a million, obviously you'd get a quarter of a million each. So if we were to represent that mathematically, we're getting half of half a million. So anytime you want to get half of something, you just multiply by a half. So it's half multiplied by half a million. So when we're multiplying fractions, what we do is we multiply the top by the top. So the top numbers here are 1 multiplied by 1, and we multiply the bottom numbers by each other also. So it will be 2 multiplied by 2. So 1 by 1 is 1, 2 by 2 is 4, that gives us a quarter of a million. So half of half a million, we know intuitively it's quarter of a million, but if you were to figure it out mathematically, it's half multiplied by a half, 1 by 1, 2 by 2, so it's 1 over 4. So here's another scenario. What is if it was split evenly four ways? How much would each person get? So if it's split four ways, you're going to get a quarter of it. So you're going to get a quarter of the half million. So quarter of a half million. If you want to find the quarter of something, multiply by a quarter. It's so quarter multiplied by a half. Again, it's top by top, so it's one by one, bottom by bottom, four by two, which is eight. So you'd end up with one eighth of a million, which is 125,000 euro. So the key thing to remember here is when multiplying fractions, you multiply the top number by the top number, so the numerator by the numerator, and the bottom number by the bottom number. That's known as the denominator by the denominator. So we'll complete some simple examples of this. So here we have a fifth multiplied by a third. So when multiplying fractions, numerator by the numerator, so it's 1 by 1, that's equal to 1, over 5 by 3, which is 15. Next one, 2 over 7, multiplied by 1 over 2. So it's top by top, 2 by 1, which is 2. Bottom by bottom, our numerator multiplied by numerator, which is 7 by 2, which is 14. It's always good practice to break down fractions into their lowest form. So here, we have 2 over 14. We can break that into a lower form. The reason is, we can divide the top and the bottom by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that's it in its lowest form. 2 over 14, that's the same as 1 over 7.